Global warming affects all elements of Earth's climate system. 22. Global surface temperatures have risen by 1 degree Celsius and are expected to rise further in the future. 22. 23. Nighttime temperatures have increased faster than daytime temperatures. 24. The impact on the environment, wildlife, society and humanity depends on how much more the Earth warms. 25. One of the method scientists used to predict the effects of human-caused climate change is to investigate past natural changes in climate. 26. To assess changes in Earth's past climate scientists have studied tree rings, ice cores, corals, and ocean and lake sediments. 27. These show that recent warming has surpassed anything in the last 2,000 years. 28. By the end of the 21st century, temperatures may increase to a level not experienced since the mid-Pliocene, around 3 million years ago. 29. At that time, mean global temperatures were about 2 to 4 degrees Celsius warmer than pre-industrial temperatures, and the global mean sea level was up to 25 meters higher than it is today. 30. Projected temperature and sea level rise relative to the 2000 to 2019 mean for RCP climate change scenarios up to 2500, 31, 32. How much the world warms depends on what humans do or not to limit GHG emissions and how sensitive the climate is to greenhouse gases. 33. Scientists are pretty sure that with double the amount of GHG in the atmosphere the world would warm by 2.5 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius. But how much more humans will emit is less certain. 34. The projected magnitude of warming by 2100 is closely related to the level of cumulative emissions over the 21st century, total emissions between 2000 and 2100. The higher the cumulative emissions over this time period, the greater the level of warming is projected to occur, 35. If emissions of CO2 were to be abruptly stopped and no negative emission technologies deployed, the Earth's climate would not start moving back to its pre-industrial state. Instead, temperatures would stay elevated at the same level for several centuries. After about a thousand years, 20% to 30% of human-emitted CO2 will remain in the atmosphere, not taken up by the ocean or the land, committing the climate to a warmer state long after emissions have stopped, 36. Mitigation policies currently in place will result in about 2.7 degrees Celsius, 2.0 to 3.6 degrees Celsius, depending on how sensitive the climate is to greenhouse gas emissions, warming above pre-industrial levels. If all unconditional pledges and targets made by governments are achieved the temperature will rise by around 2.4 degrees Celsius. If additionally all the countries that adopted or are considering to adopt net zero targets will achieve it the temperature will rise by a median of 1.8 degrees Celsius. There is a substantial gap between national plans and commitments and actions so far taken by governments around the world, 37.